Hey, buddies, what's up? I'm Jesterday Rama, and we are going to be finishing Undertale. Well, refinishing it, since, well, you know the story of losing a save file. That's always fun. And also, thank you for following a uh, new follower. I didn't quite catch your name, I'm sorry. Uh, let me see if I can actually give you the quick call out on Twitch alerts. So give me just a second while the intro plays over. Twitch alerts. There we go. Streamlabs, whatever. Alright, new follower. Ask Shonen. Ask Shonen Tante. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but thank you for following. So. Let me get things closed out. There we go. So, Undertale, where I shall be voicing Asgore once more. Hey, look at this. Don't we have a nice setup? Um, oh yeah. This is gonna be fun. Um,. Let me just change a few settings. I need to kinda get the controls from the arrows to the WASD because I'm so used to playing first person shooters, it's a little bit foreign to use my right hand on the arrow keys. Um. Whoops. Too far. Hey, Fungella, how's it going? Um, crap. Where do I change the settings? Ah, uh, crud. Oh well. I guess I'll have to use my right hand anyways. Oh, tense. Just think of it like... A visit to the dentist. A very deadly visit, visit to the dentist. Okay. Let's see if I can beat Asgore this time with... Are you ready? Without the Temi armor. Because that totally worked out last time. If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Yeah, he doesn't want to fight, but he feels like he has to. I always love that sound. Papyrus and Undyne? Oh, there's no response. Whoops. Dang it! Wrong frickin' button! This is what I get for not playing in a while. Worn Dagger. Is that the one I picked up in the house? Crud. Great, now I can't freaking remember. The freaking noise, that freak out to me. Like I swear through God. I'm like so freaking annoyed. Yeah, a deathist. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, <clears throat> business, please do what you must. Let's continue. I see. This is it, then. Ready? Ready? Ready, ready, ready. I'm ready. Ish. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with DETERMINATION! 
human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. And away goes the mercy. Asgore attacks! Let's try and talk him out of it. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Hey! We're doing okay. Let's try and talk him down some more. You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Ah, crud. I probably should have stocked up on items. Let's talk one more time. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. Asgore's defense dropped. Well then. Ah, a little too soon. Oh man, it always makes me want to move because I see that orange. Frickin' orange. Ah, close. Uh, hopefully I can survive the next hit. Ah, still too soon. Oh well. And there we go. Hey! 146. Oh crud. Oh my god, that was close. Starfay! Drink the Starfay and recovered 14 HP! Oh, good times. Frickin' A, man. I swear to frickin' God. Dang it. You and your big flame hands. Ugh. My reaction's too soon. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Man, I really should have gotten more items. Hey, I've survived. Come on, give me a crit or something. And there's Victoria's theme. Ah. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Give me a dog salad. Oh, fried tennis ball. <laughs> you recover 10 HP. Come on. He's getting faster. Ah, direct center and didn't dig anything from it. Ah, uh, there we go. Come on, down to half. Oh, yeah, not fair, not fair. the dog salad. It's literally garbage. Your HP was maxed out. Frickety frick frick. This is what I get for not playing for like a month.
Hey, 167. Uh, not fair! Damn it! Ah, come on! Bullcrap! It's literally garbage. Ho 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 ho! That was nice and close. Ah, crud, I was in the right spot, too. Ugh. Okay. Ah, damn it. Asgore's low HP. There we go. Okay, I'm reading what you said in the rhythm. <laughs> like, finally eating a slice of your pie for your wife? Oh, I misread that. It's delicious. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. <clears throat> war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike. And free us from this terrible prison. Then, I would destroy humanity. And let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But, I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Now I still need to do mercy. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie, we could be like... like a family. And here comes the part that ticks me off. Frickin' Flowey. You idiot! You haven't learned a thing! In this world... It's kill or be killed! <laughs> and now I have to prepare for the flowey fight that's gonna take probably a while because I don't have Temi armor. Long ago, two races. Excuse me, thing. One day, they all disappeared without a trace. Oh, now it shows up. Hold on. I need to do this right. Hmm. 
Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, they all disappeared without a trace. Okay, now the stream got it. There we go. Now we're in Flowey's world. Itch my face a little bit. Okay, I've got the mouse out of the way. And up we go. Hey, we can save, right? No. <laughs> File erased. Howdy. It's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. <laughs> Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Mmm, I can feel them wriggling. Aw, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers. Monsters. Humans. Everyone. I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked on a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Alright, time for the fun fight. Ah, Omega Flowey. Sorry, my nose itches. I might as well itch it now before I lose. <laughs> One of the best bosses in the game. <laughs> ah, those teeth. Ah, crud. Ah, crud. Ah. No! Ah, uh, crud. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was close. Ah, uh, crud. You called for help? Oh, God. Oh, goodness gracious. Thank you, orange. Er, yellow? Orange. Ah! Gotta move! Oh, God. Ah! Friggin' chompers! Oh, God! Hope I can beat this in one shot. Ah, crud, I should have kept moving. Ah, screw it. Oh, come on, there's nothing behind there. Ah, crud. Ah, 
shiz. Oh, shiznit. Shiz. Ah, oh, God. Friggin' determination. Ballet. Ow, damn it, that hurt. Come on. Okay, good enough. Ah, friggin' fire guns. Friggin' friggity frick frick. Venus fly trap. Venus friggin' fly trap. Holy moly. Oh, jeez. Holy crud. Ah. Uh. All right. Ah, there we go. Dreams, kindness, hope, life. Felt you saved. Ah, God. Ah, not again. Oh, getting rough, man. Ah, uh, get it. Give me all these dang eggs. Oh, God. Ah. Uh. Holy moly. Another Venus friggin' fly trap. Oh god. Ow, damn. Okay, good, we're at the finale. Not bad for not playing, like, for months. Oh. Good souls. Very fine souls are helping me. I'm not flowery. Flies to friends drop to zero. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, that's just a little silly to me. Ah, dang. Come on! I can do it! I can do it! Oh god. Come on! Holy moly! Ah, oh, crud! Ah! Frickity frick frick! Holy frickin' frick and a frickin' stick with a frickity pick! 
freaking lick, freaking tick, freaking mick. Holy crap! This freaking boss battle is still up in my freaking butt! Uh. Oh, crud! Ah! Uh. Freaking flies! There we go. That's one angry flower. No! No! This can't be happening! You! You! <laughs> you idiot! Yay! Yay for file three! <laughs> Did you really think you could defeat me? I am the god of this world. And you? You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right! Your worthless friends can't save you now! Call for help, I dare you! Cry into the darkness! Mommy, Daddy, somebody help! See what good it does you! You called for help. But nobody came! Boy, what a shame! Nobody else is gonna get to see you die! <laughs> what? How do you... Well, I'll just... What? Where are my powers? The souls? What are they doing? No, no! Can't, don't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop, stop it! Stop! Isn't that a seizure inducing fun time? Mercy. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you! I'll kill everyone! I'll kill everyone you love! Why? Why are you being... so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. Undertale. Isn't that fun when a flower can't feel anything like why someone's being so nice? Yeah, this is totally the ending. Flowey Battle Co Design. Ever Dread. Hmm.
Good times, eh? Yes. Ring, ring. Hey, uh, is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The Queen returned, and that is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, the, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention, human. I, the Great Papyrus, am now Captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I ever dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, we just water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Alphys with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us out of here. Undyne is helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion inducing. But I think Alphys likes having her around. Uh oh. Hey, what are you two up to, punk? Gah! Please don't noogie the phone! Hey, who's in charge here? Me? Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's, uh, only one member now. But he's extremely good! Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't noogie the skeleton! Anyways, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me, wrong voice. Anyways, now I'm working as Alphys's lab assistant. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh, yeah, and I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I can bench press seven children? Awesome, right? Hey, I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault he... Ah, darn it. I miss the big guy. Come on, Undyne. Snap out of it! Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm there supporting her! That's what friends are for, right? Hey, wherever you are... I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you, everyone is. Even the queen. Hey, wait a second. Toriel, Toriel, do you wanna? Heh, <laughs> she says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to... We wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her. But call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So, hate to cut this short, but... Be seeing ya, okay buddy? Bye bye for now! See ya, punk. Aren't they a nice family? Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends. 
But now, you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? <clears throat> Excuse me. Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and... Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alphys? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness? See you soon! Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebbett. 201X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. And so the human tripped. And down they go. Yeah, that's going to be important for the next coming section. Let's continue. I wonder. Oh, yeah. So, I gotta go back. This is the barrier. Yeah, sorry, I need to skip through. Yep. Anything you want to do is important enough. Even something as small as reading a book. Or taking a walk. Please take your time. All right, let's go to Hotland and hang out with Dr. Alphys. Oh, yeah. Ugh. These voices, they make me feel congested. Yeah. Let's go. All the way back. He's so quiet. Alright. Let's go on down. And let's get all the way back over to the lab. Eventually. Okay. Oh, hello. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk! So, let's go to Snowden. Nice. Cream. Uh, was it this way?
please select location. I hope this is the right way. Hey, it is. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Hey, it's dog. Tra la la, I care for a ride. A ride in the boat. Where will we go today? Then we're off. And away the dog runs all the way down the stream. Going through the stream on my stream. Tra la la, eat a mushroom every day. Why? Then I know you're listening to me. Come again sometime, tra la la. Oh, you've never played this game at all, Autumn? Oh, so I'm kind of way ahead from the, from the beginning. <laughs> um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why didn't I do it myself? Um, well, well. It's, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so... I'll t tell you. Holland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there! So here you go. You got on the Undyne's letter. The Undyne. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you! Thanks so much! You're the best! Wonder what the info says. Undyne's letter. Unique letter written for Dr. Alphys. So that's what that means. Tra la la, care for a ride? Riding a boat? Let's go to Hotland. I re highly recommend playing Undertale from the beginning because overall this game is really good. This game is like super excellent. I mean it's like one of the best games I've ever played. It's like my top game now. It beat my childhood favorite Secret of Mana. So also play Secret of Mana when you have a chance. You might get a little frustrated by it but it's still fun. And like this you might get a little frustrated but it's still fun. And it's rewarding. Tra la la, remember to take a break every so often. I should have gotten a glass of water. Pardon me a moment. Um, in editing, this little section will be skipped because I have to be right back to get my water. Because I don't want to die, I have no voice. Come again sometime, tra la la. Be right back. Okay.
Yes. Hydrate the hyvanine. Um, to help spelling, since I know it's not a common word I use, hyvanine is spelled H-Y-V-A-N-I-N-E. Hyvanine. That's my furry character species, because he's an impossible hybrid. Okay. Oh, not WASD. I keep forgetting that. Oh, and mouse is on the screen. God dang it. All right. Things just strange laboratory in a place like this. You're filled with determination. Yes. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Yes. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 this is not another letter. I don't want to open it. C can I just slide it back out? N no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's kind of strongly, isn't it? Shut oh, shut kind of strongly. Wait a second. What kind of sound effect was that? Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so... I had no idea who could've... Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable! And I had no idea um, you wrote that way! It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um... This... And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Y yeah let's go on a date! Dating start. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Ah, how'd I look? My friend only picked out this dress. She's got a real sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating start... Hey! Wait, 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 wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to date. Two of the date. Right? Anyway, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. But first, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about... This magical speed repair kit that I... Um... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating! Start! Yeah, let's, uh, date! Awkward. Uh... Do you... Like... Anime? Hey, me too. Yeah, I like anime. I love anime. If it, long, as long as it's good anime, like Monster or Full Malachimist Brotherhood, or even Princess Tutu. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Sure, because she's trash, right? <laughs> Here we are! This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Heh, <laughs> she's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I think I can let her date, see me on a date with you! Why? Because, uh... Well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are! I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Yeah! 
Have you at least seen her? Yes. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just, just figured, you, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse than I put it like that, when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Sometimes the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. No, no, not that you aren't, um, cool. But, but, Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but... All I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets too close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people le will learn the truth on their own. They'll all hurt get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I d don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it, or obviously let's roleplay it. Re roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun! Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? Hmm... Actually, I'm gonna give you guys a choice. Should I have her be Undyne, or have me be Undyne? I'll wait a moment. Oh, come on. It's one to one. <laughs> okay, two to one. Okay, three to one. All right, you'll be Undyne. <laughs> this will be fun. Um, um, me? Undyne? Uh, 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 okay. I'll say what I think she'd say, and you, um... You show me what I'm supposed to do. Ahem. <clears throat> yeah! Hey, Alphys, you look cute today. Which I say often, but platonically, because I never like you. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I never made this choice. This is kind of funny. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do the second choice because that just sounds funny. Yo, you're one hot and hot, baby. <laughs> what? Alphys? What's gotten into you? Haha, uh, hot baby? How dare you call me that? First off, I'm a baby knight. A captain of the babies. <laughs> oh my god. Trembus. <laughs> Treat me. <laughs> Treat. <laughs> oh. Treat my position with respect, or I'll strike you down. Uh, now pretend I'm suplexing a boulder for no reason. Um. Anyway, what do you want to say, Elvis? Oh my God! Bad roleplay. <laughs> 
Uh. Okay, I'm gonna do the troll option considering I did the other option last time. <laughs> well, what? I would never! Alphys, what are you doing? I say, pushing you away from me. You sh shouldn't kiss me. But, but, but you're s so good at it. Okay. <laughs> but, but, but because of what you learned from the, the, those the, the dating video games. I can tell but kiss you back. Yeah, yeah. I'm on and I'm piling on the smooches. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? Uh, uh I, I, I was just... Hey, well, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Well, wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but, um, I mean, actually, we're only romantically role-playing as you! What? I mean... I mean... Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well... Everything! I told you that uh, seaweed was, like, so time... I just wanted to make an ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history of movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And the time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas, that I'm like, Elvis. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Elvis. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Elvis. Shh. Shh. Les Suplex. Two points. Alphys, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is nerd, just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it! 100% and maximum power! So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to me, to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know you're the, just the training... Whoops, and I know just the training you need to do that. Undyne, you... You're gonna train me? Pfft, what? Me? <laughs> nah, I'm gonna get like gonna. Eh. Thank you for making me get my words all messed up, Alphys. Nah, I'm gonna get Epipyrus to do it. Get this bound shaken! It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, I'm dying. I'll do my best. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons! Those comics! Those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? Anime is real! Haha! <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords! Magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alvis. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... Things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later! Ah, uh, the pile of flowers. So let's wade through the water and maybe take a visit to Al Alphys's lab. I almost said Alfine. Thank you, shippers. My webcam seems a little low. Okay, that's better. Partaking in worthless garbage fills you with determination.
on the YouTube channel, um, which one? The one for Points of Pockets or the one for uh, my channel, Ring? Howdy! If it isn't my good friend, who trusts me? This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Ah, uh, now. I feel strongly and uh, for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. On Ponies with Pockets, I just got the Temi armor, and it's right before uh, I fight. Well, I'd say I, because as a doctor, I was playing it since uh, Jitty had already beaten the game. Um, it's right before the fight with Asgore, so the fight you just saw me fight with Asgore, it's just b before then for what's posted. But as far as what's done, the true pacifist run is done, but not uploaded. It's not fully uploaded yet, so there's a little bit more to go on there. Uh, where is the river woman? Or river man? Where is the river person, I should say? Hey, I guessed right. Yeah, it's a separate run because, well, the file that was for Dr. and Derpy got lost because I was changing computers. And I had to start over. But yeah, this is a... Te technically, it is a re-recording. But it's for my channel since I wanted to play the game and show it uh, to the viewers of online. Riding the boat? Yes! Let's go to Hot Land, where there's one hot, hot baby. And we're off! Okay, I read that one. This dog has a rudder butt. Well, the Doctor and Derpy will be doing a genocide run once I finish this true pacifist run. And we'll do it sometime in the near future. Maybe on the Fridays that I'm doing the streams, or maybe a separate day. We'll see. Determination! Yep, you are correct, the rhythm. Once we are through on, or once what? Once I am through with the true pacifist run and caught up for the other channel, we will continue on the genocide. <laughs> Let me just kind of check if it turns out that Alphys is anywhere up here. Oh, Metaton! Looks like Metaton is undergoing repairs. Yeah, he's got a chainsaw next to him. How nice. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed falls into an extremely easy to draw box. And that's actually the fact because they couldn't get a good bed to make it look good on here. Don't you love being meta? Let's go down the elevator. Warning, warning! Elevator losing power. I'm Tether, stability lost. Altitude dropping! Hey, Web Wraith. Web Wraith, excuse me. Somehow I survived. Now we're in the nitty-gritty of the game. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. 
Unfortunately, this power cannot be re recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Isn't that nice and spooky? Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the pers persistent souls of humans, the souls of the mons of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination. Well, here we are. True laboratory. <laughs> Buy chips for 25G? Sure. The vending machine dispensed some chisps. Chisps? Let me look at that. Potato chisps. Potato chisps heal 13 HP. Regular old potato chisps. Freaking chisps. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. Power room. Oh, can't enter there. It's a fake plant. Nice. Wait a second. Oh, potato, potato, potato chips, potato chips. Let me look at that info again. Potato chips. Regular old potato chips. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. The bodies came in today. They're still Tokomatos, and soon they'll all turn in into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then. Freedom might be closer than we all thought. <sighs> Dusty. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for their funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Is it all the same thing? Yep. Turn on the sink. Turn on the sink. Turn on the sink. Oh, whoops. Makes you kind of think, it has something to do with Flowey. Something drew near. No data available. But nobody came. Don't you think it has something to do with Flowey just a little bit? Item? But your inventory was full. But nobody came. Stat. Attack 25. Defense 25.
but nobody came. You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun! Come join the fun! Wait a second, I missed the last one, dang it! What was it last one? It's a real get-together. Become one of us! Memory head A. Okay, I'll join. Just a moment. Laura Mipsum Doset, come join the fun. Okay, nice and spooky, isn't it? Ah, uh, no! Of it rests upon you. Jester, stay determined. How do we know if it's WD Gaster, huh? Oh, so it is the third one. Doesn't matter which one it is, as long as it's the third one, it turns out to be something. cell phone you can hear your voices through the receiver but nobody came I'll join ah crud Ah, dang. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Ah, crap. Then hold still. Oh, come on. But nobody came. Of a starfay. Become one of us. <sighs> That's a shame. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. You won! There's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it on your keychain. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. Um. The thing about theories is that they cannot always be 100% proven. That's why they're called theories, not facts. That's all you could read. Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. After all, it's just a theory. Yeah. Determination. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. It's an empty... Excuse me, an empty dog food bowl. 
It's a fake plant. Here's a little spooky tidbit. Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie on it? Yes. Behold, the musical note. The musical note ghost. What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Is it gonna try and kill me? Is it gonna try and slap me? Or will it just tuck me in nicely? Quite a nice ghost, isn't it? Does anything else happen? I don't think so. It's a bed. The true lab. Bedroom. The clock is broken. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Uh, do I go this way? Entry number 15. Seems like this research is a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to the garden. To his garden. And I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Smiley face. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Oh, well then. There's the thing that was the part of Flowey. Oh, whoops. Smells like sweet lemons. Hmm. That's hum. You have a familiar tune. Lemon Bread's body shakes. Welcome to my special hell. Uh, I guess a call. He called for help, but nobody came. Do you think I'm pretty? Eh. You let lemon bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shake. Ah, crap, I did it again. Let's get a starfay. But nobody came. And dodging, kinda. Hear the melody of pulsating flesh. Um. Cried as loud as you could, but nobody came. Stay here with me. <laughs> How about a flex? You flexed your arm. Lemon Bread seems to remember something. I felt this before. There we go. Could this be goodbye? You won. DT extraction machine. Status inactive. Yes, the determination extraction machine that was on Flowey. So spooky, isn't it?
There's a green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put it on your keychain. Oh yeah. Night, Doctor. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. They seem to be alphabetized, save for a few stray sticky ones. There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like it's mostly cartoons of some kind. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. That's all you could read. So probably something in the bedroom. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked up beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Tape one. Gory, wake up! Hmm? What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shush, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is... Edamame! Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. <clears throat> what kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamarian. Mamaranian. <laughs> you sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day. You could be a famous momedian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. <clears throat> honey. Oh dear, perhaps it's too dark in here for the video to come out. Yes, tape two. Okay, Jester, are you ready? Dear creepy face. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait. I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. Haha. <laughs> tape three. Howdy, Jester! Smile for the camera! Ha! Huh. This time I got you! I left the cap on! On purpose! Now you're smiling for no reason! Hee <laughs> hee What? Oh, yeah, I remember! We tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. But we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. I should have laughed at it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Tape 4. I I don't like this idea, Jester. What? What? No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No. I never doubt you, Jester. Never. Y yeah. We'll be strong. We'll be free. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Jester, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Jester, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Jester, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I, I... No, I said, I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. 
and we'll do it together, right? Yay, mysteries! Okay, I read that one. I can't see anything. Oh, hello. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you can read. Click. The green key fits perfectly into the slot. I'll have to come back here. So, I'm walking through this place and I'm thinking it's nice and spooky, you know? Excuse me. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention... Every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Let's turn on these fans. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. Yep. Just like Flowey. Isn't it nice and spooky? Listen to all that howling. All that howling. It's the amalgamate. Check. Amalgamate. It's unclear how many dogs this countess has. Ah, wow, jeez. Mugamit is watching you intently. Let's... beckon it? You call the Amalgamate. It bounds toward you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Oh, come on! Damn it! You're going to be alright. Just a... Stay determined. You think that these are all just things that Asgore said to the other child? How does that connect my character? Oh. Okay. Nice. Let's try this again. Yeah, and I just kind of wonder, why does this person have my name? How does this connect me to that other jester? Let's get this over with. Yeah. Amalgamate is hovering close, looking for affection. You bet the Amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Zzz. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Amalgamate is striking the wall with his claws. Let's play. Throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The Amalgamate brings it back to you. Proudly. You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body on you. Hmm. 
Am amalgamate is twitching affectionately. You pet the amalgamate. It starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. Yeah! Magmates convulsions intensify! Yeah, dogs. You pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. And Dogony is contented. You won! Now let's go to the other side. Now that I can actually see... Okay, there we go. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. It's a refrigerator all. It's empty. Oh! That's not a fridge. It's so cold. Sounds like Snowden, doesn't it? Amalgamate. Check. Seems like it's losing itself. Snowy. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, <laughs> I remember. You laugh, and keep laughing. It's so funny, you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? Snowy. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. Haha, <laughs> thank you. Told bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won. You found a blue key on the ground. You put it on your keychain. Oh yeah, I already read this one. Curtain. Oh, come on. I have to get the thing again. The refrigerator's alive, I tell you! I tell you it's alive! It's freaking alive! Was it this way? Nope. This way? Oh yeah. There's a green key lying in the bathtub. I take it and put it on the keychain. Now let's go back again. Click. The green key fits perfectly into the slot.
Now let's continue going onward and go back to the bedroom so we can get that last key. There's something under the sheets. Check it out. Yes. It's a yellow key. You put it on your keychain. There we go. Gotta make it through. Click. The yellow key fits perfectly into the slot. Now, let's go the other way. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Look at all these flowers. Makes kind of wonder if that's where Flowey came from. Yes. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and they won't let go. Golden flowers. What? Okay. It's a reaper bird. Uh, check. Something, something, something way. Death by butterfly, apparently. You kneel and pray for safety. Remembers his conscience. What are you afraid of? Dang it! Wash your hands. Nothing happened. Yay! Flying heads! But already remembered its conscience. But comma already remembered its conscience. Dang it! Mystify! There's nothing mysterious. The comma recognizes it has more to learn from this world. Something last look. I can't spare it yet. Pick on Reaper Bird. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit. Courage. Oh no, come on. I'm trying to stay determined, dang it. There we go. Let's try this again. Butterflies to the head. All the determination. 
Big on saying it seemed effective. There we go. Yeah, I'm a familiar tune, but no one heard you. That wasn't it. Oh, come on, the head move. You don't pray for safety. Raven Bird seems to remember something. Ah, oh, come on. Reaper Bird seems placated. And so it disappears into the abyss. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Cold. That's all you could read. Click. The blue key fits perfectly into the slot. I think I'm missing one, aren't I? Let's try to go further. Let's see if I got all the keys. Ah, dang it. I missed one. Gotta go back. Nope, that wasn't it. There we go. Alright, let's save, just in case, and scoot along. There we go. Uh, let's see what I have. Let's get some potato chips. Got what I need, and we can go. Hmm. Seems to be turned off. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. Seems to be turned off. Okay. It's a red heart. It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yes. Oh, the amalgamates I spared are coming to get me. Hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had and... Anyway... The power went out. Thanks for following, Undertale Overload. The power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you are the one step ahead from me, of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But, but, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. 
As you probably know, Ashgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take these those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into... those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing... Everything I'd done so far had been uh, such a horrific failure. But now... Now, I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest. Believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. Um, this is after a neutral run, and it's a replay of the, uh... True Pacifist run since I did True Pacifist originally with Derpy or Baldumbarette or Jitterbug, my boyfriend. So I had to redo the Pacifist run so it could be the same run that'll be recognized for when uh, Jitty and I do the genocide run as the Doctor and Derpy. I'm sure there'll be times where I screw up again, but knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. The power has been turned on. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of the garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder. What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Enter number 18. The flower is gone. That's flowey! Ring... It's a voice you have never heard before. Jester, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Jester, see you soon. Oh boy! The door is jammed shut with vines. Well, no save. Let's go here. Well, no save there. Or there. Or there. Let's just check this little section out real quick because I'm curious. Go down the stairs. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Jester. It's empty. I have no idea what a bee bag is, but if it's a swear, I'm not sure if it's okay. <laughs> Gotta drink some water for this one. Okay. So soon? 
How are you feeling? I'm ready. I see. This is it. <clears throat> this is it then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination! Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Ha <laughs> ha What a knockout. What a miserable creature torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone. But I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized... I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy, too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. So, Tori, you wanted him to kill people anyways? Okay. But instead, you made everyone live in despair. Because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I'm a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Yeah, Asgore, human! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Ah, uh, yeah! Nice to meet you! Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Uh, hey! Nobody hurt each other! Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel, hello! Ah, uh, 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 hi! There's two of them? Hey, nobody fight anyone! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help! Hello! Oh! Hello, your majesty! Psst! Hey, human! Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? Hey guys, what's up? Frickin' Sans. That voice! Hello, I think we may... know each other? Oh hey, I recognize your voice, too! I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And the uh, same. Oh, wait, then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles is roof with shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. I love Papyrus's voice, but it kills my voice. Come on, Asgore, it's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. 
Yeah, Asgore. Undyne's totally right about that fish thing. Just sometimes you've got to, uh... Just stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh... Did you just get to know a really cute fish? It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god. Will you two just smooch already? And the audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No, he's right. Let's do it. Uh, well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back. Oh, wait! Not in front of the human! Oh, right! Sorry, I got a little carried away there. Sumichi smooch face. Sans, stop going around the friggin' screen! Hehehe. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think... I think you'll be happy here. Oh, uh, hey! That reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her... Uh, anyway, if I got here before you... How did you know what to call, how to call everybody? Let's just say... A tiny flower helped me! A tiny... Flower? A. Hey. You idiots! While you were having your little powwow, I took the human souls! And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friend souls are gonna be mine too! <laughs> and do you know what the best part is? It's all your fault! It's all because you made them love you! All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them, Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. Hehe. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you'll leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end! I'll hold victory in front of you just within your reach! And then tear it away just before you grasp it! Over, and over, and over! Hee hee hee! Listen! If you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending! I'll bring your friends back! I'll destroy the barrier! Everyone will finally be satisfied! But that won't happen! You? I'll keep you here no matter what! Even if it means killing you one million times! What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human! You can win! Just do what I would do. Believe in you! Hey, human! If you got past me, you can do anything! So don't worry, we're with you all the way! Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this widow's got nothing on you! Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But, but somehow, I know you can do it! Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. La la la. 
Wait with you too, come on. Oh my god, I can't read all this. Ugh. No! Unbelievable! This can't be happening! You! You! I can't believe you're all so stupid! All of your souls are mine! That's Azrael! Finally! I was so tired of being a flower! Howdy! Jester, are you there? It's me, your best friend! Azriel Dreamer! It's the end! Let's check. Azriel Dreamer, Infinity Attack, Infinity Defense, Legendary Being made of every soul in the underground. I love this fight. Ah, crud. Ah, wrong way! Damn, that was fast! Okay. That's hope. You hold on to your hopes. You reduce how much damage you'll take this turn. Ah, crud. Azrael charges Shocker Breaker! He is such a weeb. I swear to god. But he's my favorite freaking character, so nyeh! You dream. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. You know... I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Oh, crap! Azrael calls on Chaos Saber. Um... Let's have a dog salad. Eat the dog salad. Oh! Fried tennis ball, damn it! After I defeat you and gain total control of the timeline, I just want to reset everything! Oh, Shocker Breaker. Come on! Oh, there are bones. Recover 2 HP. Thank you, Dog Salad! All your progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero! Oh, no! But it refused. Let's hope. Hold on to your hopes. Reduce how much damage you'll take this turn. Dang it. Um, let's dream. Think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. Ah, come on. Let's have some chips. You get the potato chips. You recovered 13 HP.
Damn! That's already star blazing! He kept holding on. Damage reduced! Then we can do everything all over again! As already's Chaos Buster. Your HP was maxed out, potato chips. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it! Azrael calls on Chaos Saber. Your items fill up with dreams. And then you'll lose to me again. That was a bad idea. Last dream. Through determination, the dream became true. Your HP was maxed out. And again. Yeah! Azrael Rider shock your breaker too! Kept holding on. Damage reduced! And again! Damn! Azrael Rider is Galacta Blazing. The dream came true! Your HP was maxed out! Because you want a happy ending! Ah, crap! Azrael calls on Chaos Slicer! Let's have some chips! HP was maxed out! Because you love your friends! Ah, crap. As you read as Chaos Blaster. Kept holding on. Damage reduced. Because you never give up. Ay, ay, ay. Azrael ready, Shocker Breaker 2. Your dream came true. You recovered 17 HP. Isn't that delicious? Your determination. The power that let you get this far. It's gonna be your downfall. Azrael Ready's Hyper Goner! Your items fill up with dreams! Now, enough messing around! It's time to purge this timeline once and for all! Oh god! Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what your determination has against this! Hello, Blue Jay! Azrael blocks the way. Azrael, struggle. Can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power! Oh!
struggle. Can't move your body. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you. The whole world is ending. Gotta struggle. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Still. Come on! Show me what good your determination is now! Ah, come on! I'm so close! I can't do anything! Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe, with what little power you have, you can save something else. Let's try and spare Undyne, or save Undyne. You reached out to Azrael's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. The lost soul appeared. Fake hit. Death the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. All humans will die. Do a recipe? You asked the last soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. You're our real enemy. Yeah. The last soul stands there. You tap the last soul lightly. Something about the way you fight. It's all flying back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. You feel something faintly resonating within Azrael. Save Alphys! Within the depths of Ariel's, Azrael's soul, something's resonating. Last soul appeared. Uh, nerd out. That's last soul, what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. You hate me, don't you? Metaton, dang it. Encourage. Tell us soul that you'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said that is familiar to her. I gotta keep lying. Lost soul stands there. Lost soul for help on a quiz question. Suddenly, memories are flooding back. No, that's not true! My friends like me! And I like you, too! Gotta keep saving them! Papyrus! Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating! The lost souls appeared! Let's do a puzzle. Ask lost soul for help with the puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. I must capture a human! Just give up. I did. Lost souls stand there. Take a break. <laughs> Ask Lost Soul to take a break from fighting with you. It seems like it wants to. Why even try? Then everyone will! Yeah! Got it! Judgment? 
tell us all you'd think about what you'd done. Not solemnly. No, wait, you're my friend! No, nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. I could never capture you! You feel something strongly resonating within Azrael. Toriel, within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. The last souls appear. Hug. You hug the last soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. This is for your own good. Forgive me for this. You hug the lost soul. It seems like his aggression is slowly melting away. No one will leave again. This is my duty. Dang it! Lost souls stand there. Preference, you tell Lost Soul you prefer cinnamon instead of butterscotch. Somehow, she faintly recalls hearing this before. Okay, good. Mercy, you tell Lost Soul that you won't hurt him. No matter what. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back! Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. You feel your soul, friend's souls resonating within Azrael. Save someone else. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul. Stronger and stronger. Seems like there's still one less person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? Yeah. Here's the memory, and this is why the intro is important. Thanks for following, Tyler Sands. He helped the first human that fell. You feel your friend's souls resonating within Azrael. What? What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no! I don't need anyone! Save Azrael, Dreamer. Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! Jester, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? I'm doing this because you're special, Jester. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who is any fun to play with anymore. No. That's not just it. I, I... I'm doing this because I care about you, Jester. I care about you more than anybody else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please, stop doing this, and just let me win! Stop it! Stop it now! Jester. I am so alone, Jester. I just want to hug him so badly. I'm so afraid. 
Jester. Jester. I. I. I'm so sorry! I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Jester? I know. You're not actually Jester, are you? Jester's been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is, what is your name? Frisk? That's a nice name. Frisk, I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. I can't read through these tears. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell how you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. Haha. <laughs> the reason I'm really more upset about this is because... This game came out at a very important point in my life when I felt like I lost everything, including my family, and I lost a lot of trust in my mom. So I don't really have a good connection to her anymore, and I just relate to Asriel so closely. <sighs> yeah, I don't talk to my mom anymore, so I do hope to maybe when she's better. Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. Of course I'll forgive him. W what? Frisk, come on. You're... you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power. With everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. The barrier was destroyed. Frisk, I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, 
It's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Of course I'm gonna comfort him. Huh. Huh. I don't want to let go. Frisk, you're... you're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk... Take care of mom and dad for me, okay? <sighs> Forgive me for cleaning my nose like that. <sighs> Frisk. This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, you were awake! Thank goodness! Well, we were so worried! It felt like you were out forever! Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out! Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made the pirates cry like a baby. What?! I didn't cry! I don't cry! I just put something in my eye! What'd you catch? Tears! No. No, no, no. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them some space first? They must be very exhausted. Though from what, I'm not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk? You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish, we will all wait for you here. Hello Frisk, Alpha's upgraded my phone. I am having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one! Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the Queen has returned! And also that she's a huge dork! You two are feet- You are two- You two are two feet away from each other! Why are you texting? We're not Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. Ha <laughs> ha Wow! Those puns are even less fun com funny coming from her! Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile! Frisk, do not feel left out. I have been writing messages to you as well. You still have my phone number after all this time. Do you not? Hey, Frisk, what's with that weird expression? Sans, did I tell you about the first time Frisk flirted with me? And then asked me to call the, and asked to call me mother? <laughs> oh boy. Wow, Frisk! This really puts our relationship in a new light! Hey, Tori, do you have any other embarrassing stories? Oh, do I ever? But I think that story is one of the most unbelievable. It is hard to think anyone would want to flirt with me. <laughs> oh, Toriel, you have no idea.
Frisk, how about you go look around before we all go? See how many good friends you've made here. I'm almost certain you must have made some more. Sorry, I don't have the time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working right now. But you aren't working! I know, and it's taking all my concentration. So, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard? Truly, this is the worst possible ending. It seems like you really botched your quest, Frisk. But I, the Great Papyrus, will always be your friend. No matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Hey! That's true! Frisk, why don't you take a walk around? Frisk, why don't you fly? It's faster. Yeah! Frisk, why don't you fly? <laughs> hmm, flying sounds a little dangerous. But they can't fly. Not with that attitude! Frisk, take a hike! Hiking is good for your bones! So, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, well, of course I'm going to go out and... Uh... Um... No. I should be honest. I'm gonna stay inside and watch Enemy like a total loser! That's the spirit! Everyone, a celebration to being losers! Heh, <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing to ever happen to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um, what's an... Anime? Oh my god! Frisk, please. Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. Y you see, it's like a cartoon, but... I'm going to say with swords. Well, you saw me cry at the Azrael part, so there's that. So yeah, you actually saw it on camera this time. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords? Golly, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? Uh, hold on, uh, I think I have some on my phone. Here, oh, look at this. Oh, uh, um, that's the, that's the wrong, uh, never mind. Golly, were those two robots... Kissing? Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, she sure is. Hey, Alvis, Alvis, do you think we can watch something with fighting next? Oh, and then something with princesses? Or fighting princesses? I'll see if I can manage to find anything like that on Dine. Yay! Hey, Frisk, why don't you go say hi to Napsabook? Oh, tell them I said hi, too. Psst, for Frisk, um, you've got to tell me. Did do you think Asgore and Toriel are, uh, ever gonna get back together? Nah. Yeah, that's what I thought. A woman can dream though, right? Shipper. And write fanfiction. Oh god. A lot of fanfiction! On second thought, maybe I won't write fanfic of real people. I mean, isn't real life already the greatest fanfiction of all? Uh, don't tell me when I said that. Because I'm going to post it online! I'm sure I'm excited to finally use the human internet. I bet they have all sorts of key things undying and I can watch. Oh man, we're going to be able to watch enemy online? 
Of course, Undyne! What did you think? What do you think we've been fighting for all along? Yeah, what do you. Whoops. <laughs> Jenks, I knew you were gonna make that joke! Wait, Albus, I didn't know you knew Sans! Well, I. Doesn't everybody? Oh, what? Okay, I didn't exactly expect a tutorial to say hell. Okay. Who the hell is Sans? Who the heck is Sans? Tario? Okay. So, Toriel swears. Confirmed. Hey, Frisk, why don't you go look for Metaton? He was here for a while, too. But he said he had to go somewhere. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I am not sorry, Frisk. Asgore, that's not what I meant! Frisk, I just realized. Now that we aren't fighting each other, I can finally ask you. Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of... Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> oh, well. Actually, the cup I had is cold now. So you shouldn't have it. <laughs> but... I am so happy you said yes. As soon as I can, I will make some more for you. Then we can be great pals. Oh, Frisk. If you are if you're not busy, on nice days, you should walk around and have a good time. That's important. All right, let's kind of go back and talk to everyone for the sake of the stream. Yay for walking back a long way. So let's just talk to everyone. Whoops. This game is still gonna be one of my favorites and it, right now it's still number one. So overall the story is great. Gameplay is unique, and even though it's a combination of stuff, it's still fun. I give this game 10 out of 10. I wonder. Are there any th creatures out here? Maybe, maybe not. I still want to save Azrael. That's how I'm feeling. Yeah, 10 out of 10. I give this game a straight 10 out of 10. Oh, so these guys do hang out. We were hired by Metaton to destroy you. But since you never paid us, we all decided to quit. <laughs> no hard feelings. Anyone over here? As a youth, I would sneak out to play this creepy flaming pit. Play by this creepy flaming pit. 
Since the core is always rearranging, it was like a game trying to find it. Now it is my special place that is nice for cooking s'mores and things like that. Oh great, now I'm wondering if there actually are any other of these guys out here. Um, I think I'm okay without going further back for right now. But yes, I will be doing Genocide with Jitty as the Doctor and Derpy. Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time. Or ever again. Um, are you guys on your way out? Guess I'll catch up with you later. Good news! The elevator started working again. But now it's been so busy, we still haven't gotten the chance to ride it. As a slime, I'm overjoyed. Yeah. Finish your job, buddy. I'm trying to finish up work. Sorry, the resort's shutting down. But I think you'll find it's still great to pass through. Blim blim, now we can live life with our reservations. Sorry, we're leaving. We you my job? Ah, and I just got a raise. We'll never have a hand this car. <laughs> the service world? Really? Maybe I'll be able to get go two feet without running into a puzzle. Oh, you're all free? Or we're all free? Oh, I guess I can stop licking this ficus. But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll keep going. Okay, you do that, buddy. You keep licking that ficus. Eh. It's some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. Okay, let's go further back. Freedom. So we're like totally free now? Yeah, like totally free. Like cool. Yeah, like cool. Like millennia of being in prison finally over? Yeah, it's like pretty chill, I guess. Oh, oops. Really? Um, well, when we said, um, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were just, like, joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably? It's like, yeah, practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was... But the is the best, kick a is the coolest! Um, no? We've, like, literally never said that. Can it be, though? Can it be, though? Can it be? Now that we're gonna be free... OMG! Like, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. That's, like, your dream, cat ate. But, Brady... I don't want to have a dream without you in it. Oh, cat ate. And in my dream, you clean up the, after the cat. Do you like cats? Me? Yeah, I love cats. They're like so cute, so tasty, so cute. Pretty no! I'm just kidding! Kind of. Anyway, when was the last time we even saw a cat around here? Oh, just the other day. There was this cute little white cat walking around. It was like so clueless looking. I put it like for an hour. Caddy. Yeah, Brady? I think that was like a dog. Dogs are just firm cats. 
like, see you later! Let's go back a little more. I'm so excited to sell an ice cream on the surface! If all humans are like you, I think it'll be a modest success. Undyne told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to get used to love and peace. He seems happy. Oh. What do you want to do? You want a rematch? Left floor one. Hold on. Give me a second. I want to go back to the beginning. Okay, 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 okay. I'll be able to have a nice drink on the surface. Almost there. Mouse, get out of the way. Now I'm doing what Derpy was doing and getting annoyed at the frickin' 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 mouse. Whoa, that's a bit jarring. It's a box, presumably to be pushed. I never saw you, dude. Yeah, who are you? Freedom, what? Bah, you're pulling my leg. Once I get to the end of the beginning, I will go back with the river person. <laughs> you aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Oh, tiny village. Almost forgot to visit that area. Um, as far as charging a phone, sometimes it's better to let the battery run out, but you can still charge a phone while it's, uh, like at 15%. Wow, tell me your news, very good. Wow, tell me your news. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Time's going all free. A pleasing development, no? Oh, sorry. A pleasing development, no? Well, if Tim can go on service, can see a lot of cute human. I want to go free, but Tim, Tim not leave. Tim watch egg. Tim will be happily family, family. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my unbridled happiness. The government told me they are willing to transplant me outside. Why didn't you smile at my dance? It almost feels a little rude. That's because Frisk never changes his, his or her face. Come on, so good! And you become an easy victories! But hmm, Tim think if you use armor's battles wouldn't be a challenge anymore. But Tim have a solution. Tim will offer a scholarships. If you lose a lot of battles, Tim will lower the price. Okay. 
So the ghost promised only him on a buy if he really needs it. Okay, nothing really new here. Time to go back even further. I know I skipped over quite a bit of hot land, but there's an important thing at the beginning. Oh, there a person, hello. Okay, okay, I remember it clearly now. There was the monthly address at the castle, and the queen was giving her part in the current events. After I finishing her update, after finishing her update, she moved to the past the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still on in her hands when she said, Your turn, Fluffy Buns. The audience burst into laughter. Realizing what she had said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms, the crowd grew silent. He leaned towards the microphone, expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns, and the rest is history. Is that score a goat? Eh? Goat? Actually, that reminds me. Tori once wore a flower patterned moo moo. Folks kept saying nice moo moo to her, but she kept thinking they were calling her a cow. So she never wore it again. What was the question again? Oh, right. Asgore. He's a real interesting type of monster. The strongest type of all. We call them boss monsters. When they have an offspring, their soul the their soul uh, the soul power of the parents flows into the child. Causing the child to grow as the parents age. But Asgore doesn't have a child, so he's been stuck at the same age, and probably will be forever. Huh? What if a child is human? What? Nah, that wouldn't work. So if Asgore's your father, he'll definitely outlive you. Oh yeah, of course. Tario was queen, and Asgore was the king. It was tragic when she left. Since everyone knew she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was also just a teensy teensy bit relieving, you know? Those two were really insufferable together. Nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. They were so sweet it made me sick. Thank God those days are over. Undyne, she's really come a long way since she was a, ugh, she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself back in the old days, Gerson the Hammer of Justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around to watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help. Though, most of the time the folks she attacked weren't bad guys. It'd be the mailman or something like that. Anywho, I appreciated it. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. So you helped uh, get us all free. I guess I really acted like a dummy to you. Ha ha! Sounds like only fire lives right now. Let's see hi to Blukey. There you are, Frisk Darling. Feast your eyes. Dr. Alpha's completed my wonderful new body. Ooh. And did you hear the barriers open? I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh, yes. I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before fighting you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So, excuse me. So I've been searching for hot. Bog in my face! So I've been searching for hot talents to fill up my upcoming troupe. So far, Sharon's agreed to be my backup singer. And look, Napstabluk here will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together? It really feels overdue, doesn't it? What? Undyne says hi? And tell her I say... Something cool. Human, I'll never forget when you cheered me on. 
when I was pretending to sleep. No one had ever had so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but... What's your name? Everyone seems to know it now, except me. Seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting at home listening to tunes. There was a flash of light outside my window. I saw the snails on the farm disappear. Then I heard a knock at, my, at the door. The flash of light wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk. Okay, and I won't forget it. Your name? Frisk. I didn't forget. Because I cried the letters into my hand. Frisk, darling, can you help me with something? What kind of merchandise do you think humans would want to buy? I've got thought of a few ideas so far. Buttons with my face. Stickers with my face. CDs with my face. Posters with my face. T-shirts with my face. Underwear with my face. And plush dolls tutorial. Oh, right before it was released. But, you know, with my face instead of hers. Oh, pfft. Right. So what do you think? I guess a no prompt was not provided. <laughs> Fabulous! I completely agree! Snail, snail. You reached the end of your extensive journey. Snail, snail. What a long trip. Remember to stretch your muscles. The housing market will probably crash now. But you know, home is where the heart is. But the snails. It's a snail. You wonder if Toriel has seen it. <laughs> Oh, wrong way. Buy all the merchandise. So bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer? Yeah. We'll get there. Sorry, hold on, I can make it quicker. I'll make this quick and I'll go to the very beginning real quick. You can go through the stars now, but I don't know what those are. Yeah. It seems like the mouse has freed some of the cheese from the crystal somehow. Squeak. Three gold for the fairy, yep. Stepping on my face. Here's a three gold. All right, we're almost there. We're getting there. Should hopefully be within the next half hour, for Pete's sake. All that gives my life validation is explaining the Echo Flower. No one can know. Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. <laughs> Someone likes explaining the Echo Flower. We're getting there. It's a dog. Hmm, now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? Wait, we're dogs. That stuff's normal. Ew. 
Goodness gracious. Yay, all the people have their family again and whatnot. Ah, uh, yes, after I finish, I will be ending the stream. So that means after this game is finished, yay. Oh, I thought I changed you. Maybe someone's on the surface will pay attention to me. There's so many people, someone has to, right? Dodo. Hey. <laughs> I guess I'll have to go to the surface. There are woods there I can we can live in, right? Yeah, there totally are. Almost to the beginning. It's a plate of lukewarm spaghetti. Seems like somebody tried eating it and just gave up. Slide to the left. Snowy. The doctor! She brought my wife! Back from the dead! My son seems happy again! A family is bigger than ever! Not my wife is combined with 16 other people! Yeah. Oh, no, I don't need to use a box. Hold on. Info. Dream. Heals 12 HP. The goal of determination. Dang it. What A? Snowman Peace and the Butterscotch Pie. Oh, that's not the right way. I'm gonna try something. The Queen's not left still fizzy with determination. We're almost there. We're into the. We're almost to the important part, and I want to try something with the butterscotch pie. You'll probably figure it out. These woods are so long. I swear. Yay. Last area.
Hey, froggets, what's up? Next is open. Guess I better roll out. Hey, you mind giving me a push, pumpkin? Crap. Sometimes I wish this wouldn't take so long. Yeah, thankful we're skipping this part. Somewhat. Come on! Speed up, Frisk, I swear! There's Azrael. Don't worry about me. Somebody has to take care of these flowers. The butterscotch pie was thrown away. No! Dang it, it doesn't do anything. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back, I just can, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey, let me ask you a question. Frisk, why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who claim Mount Ebon are said to disappear. Frisk, why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well, only you know the answer, don't you? I know why Jester climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Jester hated humanity. Why they did, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Jester. In fact, though you have similar, uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe, the truth is, Jester wasn't really the greatest person. Well, Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Jester and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to... to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then because of me, we... Well, that's why I ended up a flower. Frisk. This whole time, I've blamed myself for that decision. That's why I just not adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision, but you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left. But that's besides the point. 
Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you, uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Just about what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there. Not everything can just be resolved by being nice. Frisk, don't kill and be, don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see you. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? Okay, time to hang out with the river person and finish this game. Unfortunately, I was trying to give butterscotch pie to Azriel, but it didn't work. I wanted to hold on to it for a particular reason. Okay. Gonna try and go as fast as possible. Which in this case isn't the fastest. But he won't retain that form anymore. Yeah, I would want to bring Azrael back to the real world, too. I mean, like, seriously. He's a freaking cutie and he is a precious, precious cinnamon roll. Faster. Gotta go fast. I was just telling you before, after we finish this, we'll eventually get to the genocide run with Dr. and Derpy. It won't be today, but it'll be another day, and I'll, I'll announce it when we are doing it. So if you're following my Discord, which is down below over here, I will announce when we are doing a stream, and if you're following my Tumblr at jester.tumblr.com, that would be also the place where you can find uh, the announcements for such streams. Is this path so freaking long? Um, what's up here? Ah, I can feel that piece of me has been well taken care of. Hmm, the barrier's opened up. Hmm, then if it's not too much to ask, could you take that piece of me to the surface? I'd really appreciate it. 
Well, Flowey would have Snowman still. Oops, wrong way. Dang it, wrong way again. Hey, Skippy. How you doing, cutie? Ah, no! There we go. Hat. Glad to be streaming again. I'm trying to get through this and I'm thinking I'm going to be quiet a little bit and cut a few little tidbits for the silence. River person up here. Yes. Let's go. I should have worn a few million more pairs of pants today. Come again sometime, tra -la, la There we go. We're almost out. We can do this. So yeah, I still have to give this game a 10 out of 10. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. So, finally hit the end of the game. Oh my! Isn't it beautiful? Everyone? 
Wow, it's CE even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans! What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowie! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Yes. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. It'll go make a good first impression. Well, someone's got to keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Wrong way! Ah, oh, it doesn't matter, you find the way. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait up! Whoops. Uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go. It seems everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you. What? Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. Hehehe. <laughs> well, I suppose. If you really do not have any other place to go, I'll do my best to take care of you, for as long as you need. Alright? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. The sad part is, is that Frisk will grow older and Doriel won't! Okay, credits. So... Time to see the cast. Professional Frog. Braver every day. I'm gonna read those little underlined things. Backup Dancer. Reformed Bully. Popular Nutritionist. Casually enjoys life. Napstabluk. Spooky DJ. Sans friggin' rides that tricycle like no one's business. Semi-successful comedian, fashion designer. Christmas display, has his own seeing eye dog. Finally, number one nose nubble, nuzzle champions. Found a loving owner. Excited by life's changes. Undyne and Alphys. Smooch. Aaron, Moldbig, Paranormal Investigator, Idyllic Life on the Beach, Legendary Janitor, and Tammy is always Tammy.
Mad dummy. Calm down. Shiren taking piano lessons again. Oh, I didn't get the right ending for the spare for the Shiren. I thought I did. Yeah. Vulcan, encouraging space eater. Finally confesses, what? I don't. Yeah. That's what you get, Cinderplane. Kendall in the world's largest birthday cake. Spider of success with a new bakery. Rail guards. Use your imagination. Oh. Final froggets. Given life its own meaning. The long battle finally ending. Domineering glasses seller. Street magician taking a well-deserved nap. Ah, the amalgamates. Living with their families. You're on camera. Yeah. <laughs> what you just saw was a jitterbug. That's not the end yet. <laughs> Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Let's see if I can do this without getting hit. Ah, dang it. Oh well. Yeah, best song! Ah, crap. Ah, what the hell? Why did your freaking lung- Ah, god dang it! God dang it! Dang it! Ah, friggin' long names! I hate your long names! Dang it! Long names! Almost to the end! Friggin' long name! Good night. So yes. Determination. I do plan to get all of the uh, soul hearts on my uh, right forearm, inner forearm, and have each of the uh, meanings on them. So like determination, bravery, and stuff like that. Toriel, why are you always leaving pie on the floor?
Eh, I'll worry about getting those tails or credits missed another time. The end. Where'd you clip? Come on, give me the ending. Give me the full ending. Hmm. Dang it, dog. I think I have to do an escape for right now. Well, there's a little thing that I get from Flowey, but let me just see. Hold on. Hi! Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. Well, there is one thing. One last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. Everything everyone's worked so hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? That's right. I'm talking about you. You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Asgore, Alphys, Papyrus, Undyne. If you so choose, everyone will be ripped from this timeline and sent back before all this ever happened. Nobody will remember anything. They'll be able to do whatever you want. That power. I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I wanted to use. But now, the idea of resetting everything... I... I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please, just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. But... If I can't change your mind... If you do end up erasing everything... You have to erase my memories, too. I'm sorry. You've probably heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? Well, that's all. See you later, Jester. What does that mean? Nothing's here, but we can do a true reset. However, I must bring this stream to a close as we have finished the true pacifist run so that soon Jiddy and I can do the Doctor and Derby play of the genocide run. I hope you guys are looking forward to that, and again, I will announce it in both my Discord down below, as well as on my Tumblr, which will go to my Twitter and my Facebook. So yes, and as always, I want to say thank you very much for watching. I am just a Dayrama, so good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. See you guys next time. Love you very much.